This video explains how to use the multi-copy function of the new NAS ILL system. This function is useful for requesting multiple copies of the same item, for example, for a book group. To place a request for multiple copies of the same item, you'll begin from the NAS Interlibrary Loan screen. Here we are looking at the main screen for the Lilac Public Library. I am already logged in as an ILL user. We can see that because it says hello T-L-I-L-I-L-L. -L -L. And I'm going to search for the title that my book group is going to read next. My book group is going to read Gentlemen from Moscow, or Gentlemen in Moscow, I believe is the title. Uh, which is very exciting because I've actually already read this book and it's a great book. Um, but we're going to need a lot of copies for the people in my book group to be able to all read the book. So I did the search. It brought up a whole lot of hits for me. And we can see that there were 62 resources remaining, and now there is just one remaining. It went pretty quickly. There's a lot of copies out there of this book. Um, I see 282 total results up here. So I should be able to find some copies. Now, I can start my request from any one of these copies. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, I am going to follow what we're recommending here in NAS as a best practice, which is to choose one that has a good number of copies. Um, it shouldn't matter. The system will build the lender string by comparing what records you did choose to all the other records from all the other library catalogs out there, figure out who has the thing you're after, and create a lender string for you. Uh, but your odds are just a little bit better if you start with a good option. Like this one here has one copy attached to it. It's probably a single library's catalog, then they own a copy. And that's fine. And if I start from that, it should be okay. But if I go up here where I have 37 different records that I know match this particular bibliographic record, which is what that number is telling me. There are 37 records that are the same as this one in the system. There's one record that is exactly like this one. So I'm better off with one with a higher number. It's not worth spending a huge lot of time plowing through every single record to find the one with the most. But pick one with a good number of um, options for you. So I'm going to pick this one. And then I see all of the 37 different ones um, that are this same one, and they're all different libraries. I do have a new pack option. I'm going to choose that one. It doesn't really matter. I could pick any of them. But what I need to do to make my multi-copy request is to actually be looking at the detail screen of a specific bibliographic record. So I'm going to click here where it says book, and that will bring up the details of this particular bibliographic record. And this is the new pack record, so I see all the people in the union catalog who have this, and those are all going to be options for me as lenders, but I don't need to worry about that. The system is going to figure that all out for me and take care of it. So what I need to do next to proceed with a multi-copy request is over here on the left, I have the big request this item, which I am not going to click because that would place a request for this book. And that isn't what I want today. Today I want multiple requests. So I'm going to click where it says multi-copy. If I did click request this item by mistake, I just go to the bottom of the screen that will appear and say cancel and it will bring me right back here. No harm, no foul. So we're going to click multi-copy and it's going to take the system a little while to figure out how many holdings there are out there that have the, have the item that may have it available and uh, figure out what my universe is of holders of this particular bibliographic item. You can see it's searched 120 now of the 122 targets. Um, it's best to let it do its thing until it's finished. If you have a whole lot and you feel like it's enough, you can hit stop. I have 135 lenders already, and I need a dozen copies of this book. So I'm going to say stop. And I have, um, and that, because that should be plenty for my transaction. Um, so it will open either when it finishes all by itself or when you click stop, it will bring you to a form that looks very like 
your regular request form, except that up here at the top it has copies needed and you'll notice from the little red star that that is a required field. So I need 12 copies of this book because there are typically 12 people in my um, book group and I need it by so November 8th is my default. This is my book dis this is my book discussion for December. When people come to the meeting in mid-November, I'm going to want to have the copies to give to them. So that should be fine. I'm plenty on track there. I am going to put as the contact info my initials because I am the staff person who is coordinating this book group and handling this request and I am going to put my book group name which is the to share brewery book group that's where my book group meets and that's where we um, are going to have our our discussion so that's what I'm going to put in there and I could put other information. I don't need to because these are all my, my book group things and that covers what I need. So I've got my van information so people will know where to send it to me. All of that is built in. All I need to do is click once I've put the number of copies and a note so I know who it is this is for, I click submit. Now this is going to take it a few minutes or maybe not minutes, but a little while, to process because what it's doing is it is in fact generating 12 different ILL requests. And you see here I have request 1439, 1440, 41, 42, 43, all of those. 2, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, math is, math is a good thing. It all matched up. I have 12 requests. 1439 through 1450 and I am making note of those so I can go cancel them as soon as I'm done with this video because I don't really need a dozen copies of this sent to the Lilac Public Library. So that tells me everything about the transaction, the numbers, I've made note of them and I click OK. And I have now gotten a dozen book requests for this title. Um, there were a hundred and twenty let's say there were 120 holders of this thing and I asked for 12 copies which means that each of my transactions has 10 different lenders on it um, but I didn't need to figure that out the system figured it out for me and took care of the whole thing so that is all there is to placing a multi copy request now if I wanted to place an additional one for other formats so this was a book format here um, but if I wanted to go back and look at my search results maybe there are a couple of people in my book group who like to have a large print copy so I can come back to my requests here and click on the large print option there are five records under this particular, there are five different versions of this particular large print record owned by various catalogs. I'm going to click the large print for new pack. I'm going to place another multi copy request. The system is going to go out and find all of the copies available of the large print edition that matches the bibliographic record I started from and allow me to put together a set of requests for that. So it searched three out of 122 targets and only found two lenders so far. Now it's getting through some more targets and finding some more lenders. I'm up to 16 21 lenders out of 72 targets. Okay, I'm going to stop. I only need two copies of this. So, out of a out of 84 I don't know, it was a, it was way more than two, however many it came up to. So, I need two copies of this. Actually, let me do three just in case somebody brings their mom. Sometimes people bring their mom to this book group, which is great, and sometimes moms want large print copies. Um, okay, so we're going to make three copies, so I have a spare. I'm going to put my contact info and my initials again, and this is to share brewery. And see, I've typed this before, so my browser knows. I'm going to fill that in, but then I'm going to add LP, so I know this is the large print batch, and I'm going to click Submit. 
and I have now generated transactions 1, 4, 52, 3, and 4 for my large print requests. So somewhere between when I did the last one and when I did this one, somebody else out in ILL land apparently put in transaction 1451. So I say OK, and I'm all done and ready to log out and move on with my day or go back and, and do other ILL work, whatever it is I need to do. I'm going to log out here for the purposes of this demo. And that is all there is to setting up multi-copy requests. So if you have questions about this or any other aspect of using the new NAES Interlibrary Loan System, please contact the NAES Help Desk at 271-2141 or the email address you see on your screen. Thank you for watching.